A 71-year-old woman is behind bars for killing a roommate for being too messy. At 9.28am on Thursday the 13th of June, authorities responded to a residence at 1000 East 26th Avenue in Tampa, Florida on reports of shots fired. When officers arrived, they located an unresponsive man with gunshot wounds to his upper torso. The victim, whose identity has yet to be released, was transported to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. Upon further investigation, detectives were able to determine that the suspect, 71-year-old Patricia Whitehead and the victim shared a residential space. Patricia had become angry with the victim, claiming that he did not clean up after himself. On the day of the incident, the victim was leaving the residence when Patricia heard the victim slam the door. Patricia retrieved a firearm from a bedroom, exited a residence and shot the victim multiple times. Patricia is charged with first-degree murder and remains held at the Hillsborough County Jail without bond. The investigation into the matter continues. 21-year-old Trevor Beatty is behind bars on multiple charges after fatally shooting his 15-year-old girlfriend Aliana Dickey inside her apartment. At around 6.10pm on Friday the 14th of June, authorities responded to a first-floor residence at 1171 Lawrence Street in Lowell, Massachusetts after a relative called 911 after finding Aliana unresponsive inside with traumatic injuries to her body. When officers arrived, they found Aliana deceased with multiple gunshot wounds, and several shell casings were found at the scene. Aliana's father, Scott Dickey, tried to get hold of his daughter by phone that day, after finding out that she had not been at school. Unable to make contact with her, he reached out to a family member who lived nearby, so they could run over and check on the girl. Neighbours reported hearing an altercation in the area, between a male and female at around midnight outside on the street. One 911 caller stated hearing a female screaming, Get off me. Get away from me. I don't want to be with you anymore, followed by gunshots. Police responded to the scene, but did not find anyone along the street. Later, video footage was recovered that showed Aliana yelling for help shortly before midnight. Trevor was seen leaving Aliana's Lawrence Street residence after midnight. After initial investigation, authorities learned that Aliana had been in an abusive relationship with Trevor. She confided in a number of people that Trevor had abused her, and threatened her as recently as middle of last week. Police learned that Trevor had taken an Uber to and from Aliana's house before and after the murder. The driver of the Uber reported that he had a suspicious passenger and was concerned about Trevor's behaviour. On the afternoon of Monday the 17th of June, Trevor was located roughly 30 miles away in a Peabody residence and he was arrested without incident. He's charged with murder, armed home invasion, unlawful possession of ammunition, use of firearm while committing a felony, and discharging a firearm within 500 feet of a building. The investigation into the matter continues. An inmate fatally shot a prison employee before turning the gun on himself. The incident occurred at just after 4.30am on Sunday the 16th of June at the Smith State Prison in Glenville, Georgia. J. Drakus Hart managed to smuggle a loaded gun into the kitchen and fatally shot cafeteria worker 24-year-old Orion Grace three times, once in the head and twice in the chest, before taking his own life. It's believed that the two were romantically involved, and Orin recently ended the relationship, leading to the shooting. J. Drakus was serving 20 years for voluntary manslaughter out of Carroll County, with a maximum release date of June 2043. This is a second staff murder at Smith State Prison in the last eight months. Authorities said they are conducting a thorough investigation on what led up to the incident, including how Jay Drake has obtained the weapon behind bars. No further details have been released at this time.